Across from MetLife Stadium in the New Jersey Meadowlands, nine members of the Bergen Grassroots Task Force on Flooding are boarding a pontoon boat on the Hackensack River. Their goal is to understand how marshes and wetlands help protect communities from flooding. Charles Powers is a professor of environmental engineering at Vanderbilt University. We're a group of really diverse people, including three mayors, a couple of the freeholders, bipartisan actually, as well as a lot of citizens who are in trouble. Several of the people who are out here were flooded by Sandy. Mayor Mauro Ragusio of Little Ferry. Little Ferry was uh, severely affected uh, by Superstorm Sandy last year. I've been on the Hackensack River before, but this is the first time that I'm actually taking a trip post Sandy. New Milford Mayor Ann Sabrizi. The Hackensack River runs along the western border of my town, top to bottom. I want to find out how the Meadowlands and its attributes affects flooding downstream. We had four major floods in year 2011, all caused by the definition of flooding, more rain than the ground can hold. Boat Captain Hugh Carolla describes the natural resilience of the Meadowlands marshes in the face of severe storms. These wetlands spread out that storm surge. The wetlands themselves sustained virtually no damage at all. Had we lost these wetlands back in the 70s or 80s, I shudder to think what Sandy would have done. Flood mitigation tactics include man-made protections such as this 11-foot berm in Sea Caucus. But the long-term strategy is to continue to restore and strengthen the biodiversity of the marshes themselves. Sea Caucus Mayor Michael Ganelli. There's so much value in a wetland. During floods, it becomes a sponge. Uh, it becomes an area that takes in water and, and, and holds water. One of the things we try to do is get people out here to see the restoration that's taking place, to see the improvements. This is going to be here in perpetuity. This, this is a 100-year lease, this piece of property. Jacqueline Gurgis, an adult student at Bergen Community College, sees increased citizen interest in the Meadowlands. I am actually very excited and very hopeful for the future because I see a lot of my friends and a lot of the communities are getting involved and that makes me really happy. For Mayor Ragusio, protecting the Meadowlands requires research and proactivity. Now we need to really focus hard. The Meadowlands is a beautiful place to live and to work. It's a natural phenomenon. But when you build on it, <laughs> there are problems that come with it. We need to address those issues so that people will stay, live and work here and, uh, and enjoy what the Meadows has to offer. It's beautiful. That's it. Just to see nature in its glory. That's what the Meadowlands is. For NJ Arts News, this is Susan Haig.